Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into the channel. So in this week's video, I'm going to show you guys how I plan out my fly lady routines throughout the week. I'm really excited to make this video because one thing that really held me back from starting the fly lady program is that I just assumed that I had to be this extremely disciplined person in order to follow the system. I just assumed that it was going to be too hard for me to keep up with. Um, like I said, that it required a lot of discipline and a lot of focus. And this is just because I didn't know about the system and I didn't know how the system, like how it would interweave into my life. And so um, I hope that this video will show you guys how simple the program is and how little time I devote to cleaning each week. Um, hey guys, so due to some difficulties with uploading, I had to break this video down into three parts. You are watching part two of three. So if you want to watch the rest of the videos, make sure you check out the description box down below. So next we have the weekly tasks on Fly Lady. They do theirs in a weekly home blessing style format. So basically we do each of these tasks and you have to set your timer and make sure that you do them in 10 minutes or less on Fly Lady. They do all of their weekly home blessing tasks on Monday. So all of these tasks should take you about an hour if you do them back to back to back to back. And so this is a modification that I've made for myself because my girls, um, I'm just having a hard time cleaning for a whole hour basically. Uh, right now they are two years old. They're almost two, they'll be two this month and they don't play that game. And so I don't have the ability to clean and do all this in one day. In the future, I will when they get a little older and more tolerant of me doing that, but this is how I have mine done right now. I do sheets and toilets. I wipe down the toilets and I swap sheets on Monday. Um, that takes me about fifth, uh, to, uh, okay. So the sheets are supposed to take 10 minutes. The toilets are supposed to take another 10 minutes, but honestly, the sheets probably take 10 minutes and the toilets take about five minutes. So that's about 15 minutes worth of work for me to run through and wipe down all the potties in the house. And so um, that's how I do that. And then I do some more of my weekly home blessing tasks on Wednesday. So um, I do my vacuuming. I dust every horizontal surface in my home that I can reach. I just run around the wet rag and a cleaning product and I just spray and wipe all the horizontal surfaces. That's what I consider to be dusting for me for now. <laughs> and then I polish. So I wipe anything that's uh, vertical. So all the windows, all the mirrors, um, sometimes I'll wipe down my fridge, my microwave, my stove, my oven, not my stove, sorry, my oven. And so anything that's just vertical up and down, I will go and polish as many surfaces as I can reach in 10 minutes. So Wednesday is my heaviest cleaning day because I have those three things I need to do and it takes me about 30 minutes to get it done. And you guys, my girls, some weeks it's, it's really a struggle to get all of it done, like back to back to back, but most weeks I am able to, um, but that's about all they have patience for. And then on Friday, I will finish off the week, we, I will finish off the weekly home blessing tasks with some mopping. And so Fridays have now become my favorite because I will mop with pine salt and when I mop on Friday, I know that I have done all of my fly lady tasks for the week. I'm free, I am done. So one thing I want you guys to see is I maybe clean about 30 minutes every morning or on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 30 minutes here. Okay. I lied. This is about 45 minutes. And like I said, that's, that's a push for my girls. And then here, this is about, um, let's see, I do my 15 minute morning routine and then 10 minutes of mopping. So that's about 25 minutes. So that is pretty much all that I do for that day. And then, like I said, the maintenance tasks are so important because they keep things from falling apart. Okay. So now I've talked about my routines, how I incorporate those into my week. I've talked about my weekly routines, how I incorporate that into my week. So now I'm going to move into zone cleaning because I feel like zone cleaning like scares a lot of you guys for some reason. <laughs> and so um, the first thing that I do for zone cleaning is I identify which zone I'm cleaning in this week. I, should, I accidentally made a mistake when I was um, creating this. I thought we were in zone three for some reason, but we are in zone two. How I know this is because this is the second week of the month. So each week 
we have a different area of our home assigned to it. And so in the second week of the month, we work in our kitchens. In the third week of the month, we work in like guest rooms, children, or for me, I work in my guest rooms and then my children's room and stuff upstairs. So I thought that we were in zone three, that was a mistake, but let's just pretend we we're in zone three. So um, for me, I have been really having a hard time staying on top of the zone cleaning due to the quarantine and being my kids being home more often. So what I did is this is a tweak that I made maybe two weeks ago and I am loving it and it probably is here to stay. So um, on these days where I am not doing a weekly home blessing task and after my morning routine, I just transition straight into zone cleaning. So I go to the area in my home where I'm spending time and I just look around that space and I'm just like, what can I do to make this place better? When I was first starting my Fly Lady routines, the biggest thing that needed to be handled were decluttering projects. So I would do 27 fling boogies for that 15 minutes. I would take a trash bag or donation box and I would spend 15 minutes finding things that were no longer a fit for this season of my life. And once I got rid of the stuff that I didn't need anymore, I spent time organizing and arranging and grouping things into like categories and buying like my little organization bins and arranging stuff. And then after that, uh, now once all those things are done, the type of task you may want to consider include like deep cleaning. And so um, usually um, I can finish a decluttering, like a small decluttering project um, in just like two or three days worth of zone cleaning. Like I said, the first day I may spend getting rid of stuff. The second day I might spend rearranging stuff. And the third day I may spend um, like wiping things down and just making it a little neater and a little cleaner. And so whenever I do my zone cleaning, like I said, my goal is to always make sure that I level up a space. Even if it looks like everything's clean and tidy and perfect, I will look for at least five things that I could do to make that space just a little bit better. And if I can't think of anything to do on my own, then I will go to like a detailed cleaning list for inspiration. So that is one distinct difference between what I do and how the Fly Lady system is set up. On Fly Lady, they have, they she recommends that you write out lists of all the things that just need to get done in that room on a regular basis. But once again, you guys, I have a phobia of long lists. So what I do is I just go to the first thing that grabs my attention. And I actually like this method because your intuition, for me, tells me what I can do to make me feel better about that space. If I have this huge decluttering project over there in the corner, but my list tells me to do this first, I'm gonna be like, okay, I'll do my list, but I'm gonna be frustrated because I'm looking at the stuff that needs to get done. So usually I just go to that type of stuff first. Um, and so my boys' bathroom and their bedroom is pretty decluttered. I was able to handle that, I think maybe within a week after zone cleaning for a week. And um, so now here we are 10 months in, and these are just some things that I've noticed in their room throughout um, the last couple of weeks. These are some things I've noticed that I would like to see get taken care of. And so I wrote it here just for my memory. This is not a rigid thing. This is not something that you have to do just for my memory. I have bought them a new shower curtain and I really like to swap that out. So I felt like zone cleaning would be a good time to do that. They have like, their toiletries and this little basket on their counter and their toiletries have like toothpaste and all this weird stuff on it. So I just want to go through and take a moment to clean that. I organized their drawers, but I noticed their drawers are starting to get a little crazy. So I'm just going to go refresh that. I'm going to look through their closet and make sure they ha don't have any clothes that they've outgrown that have been worn out. And so, and then also their bathroom closet um, is not like perfectly deorganized, perfectly decluttered yet. So I want to go through there and just see what I can do to spruce it up. And I'm going to do work on this list for 15 minutes on Tuesday and for another 15 minutes on Thursday. And then that's it. Whatever I don't get done, we'll just roll over to next month. Or if I have like a day that feels laid back, I may catch up on it then. But this is like very low pressure. And you guys, 15 minutes will take you so far. Like I just can't even tell you how far 15 minutes will take you. I know it seems like it's not going to do a lot, but um, you guys, I've just been able to transform my home using this system of decluttering and organizing and deep cleaning 15 minutes at a time. And so when I first started my Fly Lady system, um, 
this is actually what my days would look like. I would do my morning routine. So I did my weekly home blessing on Monday. So all of these weekly tasks were done. Then I did my morning routine and then I zone cleaned. Morning routine, zone clean. Morning routine, zone clean. Morning routine, zone clean. And then I got to a point where I was like, three days a week is enough for me. So I did morning routine, zone clean. And I just picked like three days to do that. And that was fine for me. And so um, this is what I have now. Maybe if you have older children and you have more stamina than I do, maybe you can do all of your weekly tasks on Monday and be done and zone clean a little bit every day. Like, can you imagine what your house is going to look like in 30 days? So zone cleaning is the game changer. This is what moves your home forward. And then you have your maintenance tasks, your morning routine, your midday reset, and your evening routine that keeps your zone cleaning projects looking great if you stay on top of your routine so this is like i said to move forward and this is to maintain and so um that's going to help you out a lot so we talked about the routines we talked about the weekly uh home blessing we also talked about how i incorporate zone cleaning and so with this is like all the cleaning stuff that i do and as you guys can see like i said i i just spend a very short amount of time on it every morning and then i maintain throughout the day. So before I move on to the last category of things I do for Fly Lady, I just want to address um, some people because, and by some people, I just mean what I was thinking before I started Fly Lady. I know you're going to sit here and see that, oh, she does the dishes every morning, noon and night. Oh my gosh, that's, that's too much. And what I want to tell you is if you have never been on a maintenance cleaning program before, I can see how you can think that it's overwhelming and it's too much because what I did is I associated maintenance cleaning with like the type of cleaning that I was doing, basically letting stuff pile up on me and then feeling like, oh my gosh, I need to pull this back together. When you clean like that in a very reactive kind of way where things are building up and then you feel like, oh my gosh, I need to pull it back together. Um, basically you just, that, that to me, that's more stressful. And, um, it's more work and it's like you let things build up on you. And so by incorporating a maintenance system instead, like really how many dishes do you accumulate between morning and afternoon? How many dishes do you accumulate between lunch and dinner? So the amount of dishes that you're going to be doing is going to be significantly less. So I just wanted to point that out because when I first started my fly lady journey, it wasn't obvious to me that this doing dishes three times a day was actually easier than letting it all pile up and trying to do it once a day or even twice a day in some cases. And so I just wanted to point that out. If you feel like, oh, this is too much, it's too overwhelming, how am I supposed to keep up with it? Just know that maintenance cleaning is a whole different game. I don't know if you guys have seen those people who clean their house when their house already looks clean and you're like, what are you doing? That's what I used to think. So that's what you're going to be doing if you implement a system like this. You're going to be cleaning an already clean house, and it is so easy. So I just wanted to point that out because I know that that was something that worried me and concerned me when I first started. So all the cleaning things are done. Anything on your to-do list that is related to cleaning should be able to fit within one of these categories. Like let's say that you have a you see something in your own master bedroom that needs to be handled, you have the choice. If you have free time, go handle it now. Great, good for you. Or you can wait until we get to zone four, which we handle that. And so just keep track of the stuff that you see around your house that you wanna get done. And every week we, z we rotate zones. So each section of our home will be getting that tender love and care throughout the month. And so, um, like I said, everything should be able to fit within one of these. And if you feel like you need to do more, then you get a gold star. You're going above and beyond. But um, this is just, like I said, should be able to keep things under control and help you do your deeper cleaning and spread yourself evenly throughout the month without feeling like you're doing too much. All right. So the last category of things that we do are is the basic weekly plan. So here you can see how I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, etc. And each day has a specific focus. So on Monday, I do my desk day. Tuesdays, I have anti-procrastination day. So things that don't have a deadline, but that's really important that still needs to get done. Um, Wednesday, I do my meal planning. Thursday, I do, I, make, I try to make sure my, clean, my fridge, I do something in my fridge so I can inventory and kind of keep it nice in there and get ready for shopping or my errand day. So all the tasks that are outside the home, I do that on Friday. On Saturday, I try to make sure I have one item that's related to self-care. And then on Sunday, I do something that's related to family fun. Now, this is not the proper fly lady system, okay? You guys, um, I have made modifications.
that was part two. So if you want to see part one or part three, make sure you click the link down below.